I was uh, noticing that recently. Um, I, I just don't get the notifications like I used to. Which is why sometimes I'm late in responding to replies or anything because... Senate term vacated by Senate Jeff Sessions will be a dem seat until 2020 when it was set to expire. Wait, so 2020? Set to GOP. Yeah, now. So then it's uh, 2020. The Senate term. So six year term? The Senate term vacated by Senator Jeff Sessions will be a Doug Jones seat until 2020 when it was set to expire. Hey, thanks for the thumbs up already, you guys. Thank you. That's very nice and sweet of you all. But you got to talk. I don't know who's on. I'm confused. Um, what is it? So, oh. Okay. seeing any comments yet. We're in C already? Yeah. A question tonight about the family of a Tennessee boy who became an internet sensation after he was bullied. His mother is now being criticized for what she posted on social media. A Millions Watch, Keaton Jones, when his video went viral, he talked about being bullied at school. The 11-year-old's mother was behind the camera and then posted that video to Facebook. Now the spotlight is on her prior social media posts, including this one where she is holding a Confederate flag. Well, Kim Jones denies that she is racist, and in fact, she says she's been bullied in the past for not being a racist. But on the positive side, thanks to the video, Keaton Jones went from a bullied middle schooler to being invited to the premiere of next week's Avengers movie. A GoFundMe campaign also raised $55,000 for a scholarship for him, but we're told it is no longer accepting donations. Delivery companies are facing delays this holiday season due to a surge in online sales. UPS says the vast majority of packages will arrive on time, but last week it admitted a flood of Cyber Week online purchases caused delays of up to two days. The company's delivery drivers had to work overtime to clear the backlog of packages, but UPS told the Washington Post it is now back on track. Some retailers are now encouraging customers to buy online and pick up in the store to ensure that shoppers will have gifts under the tree on Christmas morning. Well, next, a realtor takes on a looter in a fire-damaged neighborhood. Plus, a robber attacks a local store clerk. See how the clerk fought back when we come back. And be sure to switch over to CBS 2 at 11 o'clock tonight. A missing woman's family devastated again. How someone tried to trick them to get money out of them. That's tonight at 11. So, hi everybody. Can someone say something? Because I don't know if I accidentally maybe did something. Because I don't see any... Hmm. Yeah. That's weird. Still just learning it here on YouTube. Wow, you guys, what a night. So does that mean it's a six-year term? Yeah, I'm trying to figure it out. I, I, there, there are no six-year terms because of term limits, but I, I don't know. But that would be, if, I mean, if that's the date, it would be six years. Yeah, but I don't know. One minute. Oh, there are plenty of messages. Jim Rodder just messaged me saying there are a lot of messages. 
I don't see them even though my thing says show show chat god that is so weird you guys still messaging me maybe I should um, stop and start over Hmm. Okay, you guys, I, I may have to stop and start over. I don't know why I don't see any. Weird. Earlier today, arson investigators say that they know what caused the Skirball fire in the Sepulveda Pass that turned the 405 into a tunnel of flames. KCAL 9's Dave Lopez tells us who did it from the spot and from the spot where it actually started. Okay, you guys, let me, um, so stay with us. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. So this is what I'm gonna do, you guys. I'm gonna I'm gonna go off and go back on and see if I can see it because it's, it's no fun when I can't talk to you. What is the point? 